What's going on guys? If you're new to this channel, my name is Cody and I'm a graphic designer based out of San Diego. Uh, I design websites and apps and a lot of other digital experiences with the occasional branding and kind of logo design stuff. Um, but today we're gonna talk about something I think every designer is pretty much excited about and that's Envision Studio. Now, before we get into Envision Studio, let's talk a little bit about Envision, the parent company. Envision came around in 2011 and they've been making waves in the design community ever since. The platform makes it incredibly easy to upload your designs and preview them on different devices. So I could literally upload pages of an app, sync it to Envision, and then preview it on my iPhone instantly. It's personally enhanced my workflow on a day to day and I can speak for a lot of other designers out there. I know you guys use this and it's a super effective software. I think that's why it's so exciting is that we know that Envision has kind of hit it out of the park already. You know, everything they come out with and all the new features they add to just Envision itself is, is remarkable. It makes it makes the workflow so much quicker. Let's just very quickly take a gander at some of the features that Envision Studio is promising. One of the features I'm personally excited by is the responsive layout design within Envision Studio. As many of you well know, when you're designing for apps and websites, you have to consider different device sizes and screens and different ratios, different browser widths, things like that. So with this feature, Envision is allowing you to size your artboard, maybe move around a grouped object, and everything around it is gonna be kind of fluid. It's gonna adapt to what you're doing on screen, almost automatically. So I think this is gonna be really exciting for a lot of designers. It's gonna save you a lot of time, and I think it's just gonna feel natural and kind of work for you. I know a lot of you work at studios or creative agencies where you constantly have to work with others to kind of collaborate on projects and have access to each other's files. With Envision Studio, you're allowed to kind of share component libraries and always have access to the most recent iteration of the project. So it's very exciting when you know that you design something once and it's able to be kind of synced with everybody else almost instantly. This saves a lot of back and forth when you would have to normally kind of save out a PNG or a JPEG and run it over to another designer. Whereas now you can just sync it up and get feedback instantly. So people can comment on your actual designs and kind of like work together that way. I'm sure developers are gonna love this because they're gonna have easy access to your files and you won't have to walk across the room or Skype somebody. It's just gonna be all kind of integrated within Envision Studio. One of Envision's greatest features to date is their rapid prototyping. So they're definitely carrying that over with Envision Studio, but this time you're actually able to link artboards together and kind of like basically create transitions between the pages. Along with that, you can add like advanced animations. So say I want that transition to fade, I can apply an animation effect and that'll happen for me. Or maybe you want it to slide out from the right or left, like all the kind of like traditional animation presets that you would normally think, they've included those in Envision Studio. This is one of those features that's gonna be super awesome to kind of get your hands on and really like see how your design comes to life. So, you know, those little delightful details, if you click on a button and then like a screen fades in, like that's just super delightful to a user. And I think it's those little details that really make people wanna interact with your app. So now people that maybe don't have a lot of skills when it comes to animation, they're gonna be given that resource now. So you can literally make an interactive prototype that feels like a real app in a matter of seconds. So what does this all mean for Adobe and Sketch? Well, I'm a huge fan of Sketch because they've built it with designers in mind. It's very lightweight. It does specifically what you want it to do for UI design. It doesn't have all that extra baggage that Adobe has for Photoshop. This, this is and that's fine. Like Photoshop is, is great for photography and image manipulation and rendering like more complex kind of um, graphics and things like that. But when it comes to UI design, Sketch excels. With Envision Studio coming into play, it's definitely gonna be really interesting to see how you know, the design world is affected by this and how many people are gonna adopt this new software. I, for one, I'm gonna keep using Sketch until I immerse myself more into the program um, because Sketch has proven to be awesome for me. Like in my workflow, it's very quick, it's very lightweight, and it does what I need to do. Um, so I'll definitely kind of you know, dip my feet into Envision Studio and kind of see if it works for me, if it truly is um, a more efficient pr uh, program for me to use. But um, I think you still have to kind of you know, hold on to those, those programs that really help you in your workflow. I give major kudos for Envision for really pushing the envelope and kind of creating this new platform that I think will really make some waves in the industry. With that said, I wanna hear what you guys think. Um, you know, this is just kind of my first reaction after watching that teaser trailer and kind of like putting some thought into it. Um, I'll probably have a different opinion in a few weeks or even when that software comes out, but definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think about all this kind of crazy back and forth between Sketch and Envision and Photoshop. Like, it's just an exciting time. I think that's why I wanna make a video about this. So uh, subscribe if you haven't um, and we'll see you next time.